Doesn't show it live for me on YouTube. There we go. Now it says we're live. Copy link. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Time to pin everyone. Uh, everyone. We're live on YouTube. Paste, bang, bang. All right. What up, Alex? How you doing? What up, crazy? What up, big guy, Monaco? We got Charles Leclerc on pole position today. Gonna be quiet for a little bit of the start of the race because I think people are still sleeping at my house because it's 7 a.m. But, oh, I'm so pumped. I love Baku. Like, honestly, one of my favorite tracks in Formula One. Let's get some predictions, though, in the chat because I love me some predictions here. Who do you guys think is going to be winning? Also, hit that like button, everybody. The more likes, the more people join. Though, that's just how it is. Oh, the F1 intro is going. F oh, goes so hard every single time. Goes so hard every time. What's up, Orchi? How you doing, bud? Like I said, smash that like button. Get as many people in here as possible. As we until we watch, you know, Charles Leclerc just DNF or whatever he does. I want a Leclerc one, dude. Me too. Me too. Like I have a Go Tifi T-shirt on right now, but oh, if we can get a Charles Leclerc, I'll literally cry on stream, guys. That that is how it's gonna be. See you racing Baku 2018 over again for Red Bull. You know what? That'll be fantastic. I'd be completely fine if that happened. I'm gonna be honest because they double DNF'd, and um, I think if they DNF, Charles Leclerc's got a good chance to win this race. So, you see, Max, get, oh, like Max getting mad at George was so funny because like it was such a clear racing incident that like undeserved. Plus, Max is in the like Max is in a Red Bull anyway, so he's gonna win the race. Like we already know he's gonna win. Yeah, I hope Leclerc doesn't DNF Tang, dude. It's like, bro, if he DNFs, so I'm gonna be so devastated. What's up, Neon? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Let me get the link for the Discord because um, I know if you guys can't watch the race, we do stream the race in the Discord. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can find this real quick. Hold up. I'll put it in the in the chat. Invite. Uh, copy link. Here we go. Um. Oh, I'm on the wrong wrong thing. How long till Leclerc's engine blows? I'm gonna guess like 16 laps. Let's go with 16 laps because you know. Actually, no, how, how many, how long was the sprint yesterday? Like 17? Let's go with like 25 laps. Cause like, I think it'll last longer than the sprint, but like who really knows at this point, right? Um, join discord to watch the race live. Yeah, I think Reggie is streaming. He's streaming the, uh, the message, the, the race in the discord. Where's the pin option? There we go. Pin. There we go. I got a pin. I got a pin. I got a pin. Yeah, what's everybody else's predictions? How long is uh, Lewis Hamilton's engine going to go? Oliver Baron will only F2. I hope he wins the F2 title. I've been rooting for him since he's actually been in F3. So I'm kind of a big Ollie Behrman fan. Maybe if he gets a step up, I'll be an Ollie Behrman fan in F1 as well. That'll be sick. F2 was crazy. Yeah, it was so early in the morning. So I couldn't watch like the race live. I watched like the replays of it. Uh, Hulkenberg at the back. I believe he did. I don't know, but uh, they were talking with Gunther Runner earlier. And they're like, yeah, um, Nico's starting like back there pretty much. So, I don't know. I think that maybe they either changed something. I don't know. New engine, maybe. I don't really know. We'll, we'll, we'll try to figure it out. We'll try to figure it out. Let me know. You guys like the little multi-viewer display on the side over right here? Multi-viewer. Credit to them. Shout out to multi-viewer. It's awesome. Wait, it starts now? Yeah, the race starts at 7 in the morning in my time. I don't know what time it is for you guys, but it's quite early. So early. Alcon and Hulk starting in the pit lane. Ah, uh, they changed. Oh, they changed their setup. That's right, Park Ferme. Yeah, that makes sense. Ah, uh, no problem, Kirby. I got you, bro. You probably got like the YouTube notification, which most of the time they don't even send out anyway. Oh, wait for you. Where? Like, it's Monday now. <laughs> Monday for you. Just, just we just got the Sunday for me. Literally, it's six fifty-eight in the morning right now. So who leads after the first lap? You thinking Charles Leclerc or Verstappen? I'm from Canada. So like like the I'm like one of the later time zones compared to like New Zealand people. Like they're like a full day ahead of me. It's crazy. Marcus Ericsson is leading IndyCar. Oh, wait, is there a race today? I hope there is. It would be pretty epic if there was an IndyCar race today. 
Also, guys, you just hit that uh, like button if you're enjoying the stream. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. We try. I try to do this every F1 race, but like, I didn't do it during Australia because it was at like one in the morning for me. And I didn't want to wake up for that. I was watching the race in my bed, and good thing I didn't because Leclerc DNF'd on the first lap. So like, thank God, <laughs> I would have been devastated. I would have been just pissed off for the rest of the stream. Like I was pissed off for the rest of the month, uh, the, the night, but like, not the stream though. Leclerc to do an I am stupid. Oh please no, please no. They said they're expecting a one-stop race here. Everybody's on mediums except the bottom three guys. So DeVries, Ocon, and Hockenberg are all on hards, which is interesting. Ooh, Leclerc's got sticky new mediums. I don't know about everybody else. They're showing Leclerc right now. It looks like Verstappen's got sticky mediums as well. Why do you support Ferrari? I'm Italian. Like, that's my background. Background of Italian. <laughs> so, if that doesn't mean anything. Do you like ice hockey? It's okay. I watched the Leafs win yesterday, though. They actually moved out of the first round for the first time ever. Yeah, I don't think it's actually going to be a one-stop. I think it might be medium-hard. Hard-hard would be probably better. Chase Elliott's back in NASCAR. Yeah, he's back. I don't know. I'm not a big Chase Elliott fan, so it's whatever for me. I thought he was somehow going to miraculously win in Martinsville last week, but he didn't. Was it Martinsville last Might have been Martinsville last week. I don't remember. No, it was Talladega last week. He was back for Martinsville the week before, though. This week's Dover. They're going to put, like, some absolute rocket ship in his car, and he's going to probably win. Medium, hard, medium. Yeah, it, it's possible. Like, you could do, like, medium, hard to soft, depending how long your medium or your hards last. So, we'll see. Yeah, Ferrari's tire egg's going to suck. Like, if they could just do the whole race on hards, like, that'll be amazing. But I doubt it. So, the, the graphic is saying medium tires to hards, and then hards to mediums. So, I guess the hard tires last really long. Like, literally, almost, tri like, double the length of the, the mediums. That's crazy. That's, that's a long time. You're from Finland, it's 2 p.m.? Awesome, awesome. Uh, De Vries and Akon, Halkenberg are on hards. Yeah, they're the only three on hards. Everybody else is on mediums. So they're going to try, maybe go long. Hopefully, no safety car for them would be... Or maybe a safety car for them would be okay, but... What's up, Louise? You looking forward to the race? Me too. I mean, I don't think Shaw Leclerc is going to take it here. But if something happens to both Red Bull drivers, it's, it's all balls to the wall, guys. We're going for it. I'm going nuts if something happens to them. Yeah, red flag's possible. It happens. It happens. <laughs> what was the last... No, we had a few red flags back in 2021, so... Yeah, see, there's never been a Ferrari driver to win this race. So, like, now is the Ferrari's time to win, clearly. Both Red Bulls crashing each other. Charles wins from Carlos. Oh, my God. That would be... It. The, the, the switch up from last year when, when we double DNF'd here because of engines, that was, that was brutal. Leclerc's going real slow on this safety lap. Or formation lap, sorry. Yeah, I mean, once Red Bulls get into the lead of this race, it's just basically over. Like, there's no, you're not going to catch him in a straight line, so you're not going to overtake him. So, I don't know what Leclerc's sort of magic this guy can pull, but I don't think it'll be enough. Unless, like, I don't know, he gets like a four second lead in like the first lap, but I doubt it. I'm going to take a wild guess and say there'll be a crash in the top five. Is Norris in uh norris will finish top five okay that's a pretty good prediction um so what do you think like a, ha oh, a hamilton alonso crash would just get the whole f1 world absolutely going <laughs> that would be hilarious by the way i'd love that i got be the funniest thing ever i think russell will win interesting if you're if you're not choosing a red bull driver i want to know why because there's no way that red bull shouldn't win this race on pure pace Ooh, ooh, we backed everybody up. Go on, Charles. If Leclerc wasn't an F1 driver, which who would you support? Oh, probably Alonso, because I was supporting him for Ferrari. Maybe, I don't know, I like Lance Stroll because, you know, he's Canadian. You know, got to represent the homeboy. I don't know, we'll see. Or probably whatever Ferrari driver's on top, so Charles. Or, well, Carlos, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it would have been Giovinazzi if Charles Leclerc wasn't an F1. That would be interesting, actually. Could have had a signed Giovinazzi lineup. Or then maybe they wouldn't have got rid of Seb. I don't know. You like Joe. That's cool. Russell going for Piastri and Turbo. Yeah, Russell's going to... Oh, he's going to destroy him. Watch. All right, who do you think is going to be the first DNF? I'm going to predict... I'm going to say Sonoda. I feel a bad weekend for Yuki. Like, I know he had a great qualifying, but like I feel like Yuki might have a pretty pretty unlucky race, to say the least. Yuki's been really good. He's been really quick. But then again, also, DeVries has been really bad. So we don't really know. 
All right, boys. Five boys and girls. Five red lights are coming on. Five red light. Oh man. I f multi viewers ahead. Yes, yeah, Charles Leclerc, take the lead. Take the lead. You love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Go on, Charles. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's some uh, battling in the back here. There you go. I have to refresh my live timings because they weren't. They were way ahead, apparently. Yeah, good start from Charles Leclerc. Simply love you. My camera's blurry now. Absolutely, camera's blurry. Go on, Charles. Happy for him. Happy for him. Did anybody change that much? We got Russell up two spots. Stroll up two. Uh, Magnuson up three. We got... got. I saw something a little bit crazy on the multiviewer right now. No, let me... Um, apply that. Refresh that. I don't know. Who did they... I don't know who the first DNF's going to be, though. Imagine we, if we get an I am stupid moment. I literally cry. I will literally cry. Oh, yellow flags. We got yellow flags somewhere. What's the yellow flag for? What is sector one yellow flag? Who? Anybody know who it is? I don't see anybody dropping through the order. Oh, yellow flag John. Someone must have just went straight up into like a uh, an area. Yeah, Max is gonna pass Charles on like the first lap of this race, which kind of sucks. But you know, that's just how it is. <laughs> it's how it is, boys and girls. Um, that sucks. Look at the speed of that Red Bull. Like, that's so unfair, man. I mean, not unfair because it's, I mean, it's legal, but. Dude, when this guy gets DRS, it's done. It's absolutely done. We're stopping for the lead. He's close on Leclerc. Oh, yeah, he's going to pass Leclerc. Come on, Charles. I mean, yeah, Max is, Max is going to get him, like. I mean, Leclerc's putting in the purple mini sector, so he's going faster than Verstappen right now. But, like, how long is that going to last with his tire wear? <laughs> like, let's be honest here. He's not going to last that long. Perez is going really quick, too. Best start apparently was Kevin Magnussen. Bottas had a bad start as well. I don't know what the heck Bottas is doing. I just had to sneeze. I did my bad. Yeah, I don't know. Anybody know what Bottas is doing? Like, bro. Like, bro's down five spots already. Like, how? Like, dude losing to joe again i don't know how he's managing to absolutely fumble the bag so hard now Bottas has been terrible this season bro max is so fast holy cow max is so fast come on charles i mean looks like max will probably get, god max is like max is three tenths behind already it's not even close guys he's gonna have the lead after this straight it's not even drs yet that's crazy. Hamlin's never gonna win a race. Win a race again. Bold prediction, my guy. Bold prediction. Bro, Max wants this lead so badly. I think he's. I think he's gonna get the lead already. Worst comes to worst, he'll get. He won't get the lead. Uh, he'll get the lead in the next lap anyway. So. Hey, we got fifty of you guys in here. Welcome to the race reaction. Want to hit that like button? More people will join if more people hit the like button. That's just how the YouTube algorithm works. So that's pretty sick. All right, Charles, you had led for a good two laps. Now Verstappen will probably overtake him. It's going to be game. It's game over, boys. It was a good two laps. I enjoyed it. Oh, he's got the DRS open. Let's see how fast he catches. He was six tenths at the start of the DRS zone. He's already within five tenths. And now he's like two tenths behind. <laughs> he's so fast. What's up, Earwig? How's it going? Oh, we got a reaction of the rate or a replay of the race start. Sorry, man. I was really hoping like signs would get a good start and pass like at least one of the Red Bulls, but that's not gonna happen. So, is he gonna get overtaken by Alonso? Let's hope. Go on, go on, Fernando. I love Fernando, man. He's so good. Bro, Max is so close to the castle section. That's supposed to be the Ferrari spot. Oh, there was a lot of contact, actually, in that first turn. 
I think uh, Williams lost an end plate, hit Bottas. No one, that's how Bottas lost five spots. He got hit into the wall somewhere. Oh, it was Albon. Albon hit Piastri in the, the right, left rear. That sucks. All right, looks like Max is going to pass Leclerc here. He's within five tenths of a second. <laughs> He's literally, we're going to see him go like straight past. That's not even going to be close. That Red Bull's such a rocket ship. Like, it's insane how fast that car is. Oh, okay, dude, like, don't even defend. He, he like, got past before, the sh like, the DRS zone. Wow, what a good overtake. Bro, like, that was so hard. Yeah, Verstappen, okay, looks like he's gonna win today. But uh, Hamilton set the fastest lap, actually. I didn't expect that. Bro, Red Bull's so insane. Like, Perez is gonna pass Charles, and then it's just gonna be gone from that point. So, best I can hope for is third today. Unless, like, there's a DNF, but there's not good. The Red Bull hasn't DNF. Like, there's so... Everything's so good about that car. It was it was fun. It was a good two laps. Um, I mean, I didn't expect anything else, so whatever. But Max is pulling away already. Like, that's crazy. You guys got any bull predictions for this race? We're on lap four, and it's already a Max is in the lead. So, I mean, if you, if you say Max isn't gonna win, that's quite bold. Okay, Max is without a D, without or uh, out of DRS reigns of Charles. So, that sucks. <laughs> that car's so fast. He's already pulled a second gap, guys. Like, what what, what can we do? Paris is gonna pass on this lap. Like, unless Charles is absolutely saving the heck out of his tires, I don't see how this is even possible. Ah, oh, Leclerc went wide. Uh-oh. Well, it looks like Paris is going to overtake him now. Fun. <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll get a uh, Paris v Verstappen battle, but that'll made, that could keep Leclerc close. Ooh, Paris didn't make the move. Bro, you're in a Red Bull. How did you not pass Leclerc there? That's crazy. How did he not go for it? McLaren is back again, I think. Yeah, well, they brought upgrades for this race, so it makes sense. I'm... Oh, Charles Leclerc's DRS? What? How did he get in DRS range? It would be an absolute blinder for Verstappen if he stays, if he keeps Leclerc in DRS so Paris doesn't overtake him, and then Paris doesn't battle, you know, um, Max. So that could be the strategy that Max would do. If I was Max, that's what I would do, because I don't want Paris behind me, just, you know, with that ro Red Bull rocket ship of an engine. So. Come on, Charles, you got this, buddy. Do, 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 do. So what do you guys think of science this weekend? He's been pretty bad, hasn't he? Like, compared to Shaw, he's been like eight tenths behind in qualifying. Like, bro, like, pick it up. Like, I know Leclerc's an absolute gift to humanity, but I, I did expect um, science to be a little bit better. Oh, Leclerc's 1.3 back? Yeah, no, Max isn't doing the strategy I told him. Yeah, Paris, Paris is going to get him here. All right, Perez, let's see how fast it takes you to pass him here. We're we thinking before or like before the turn, the breaking zone or after the break or during the breaking zone. Let's see. Let's see. Is he going to get him? He should get him here. Yeah, he's going down the inside. Yep. Before the break. Actually, during the breaking zone. Max's, Max's overtake was better, I have to say. Max was definitely better. He flew past him way faster. No one's a match for Red Bull. Oh, Gasly's in the pits already. Didn't he? You know, he didn't start in the pits, though. All right. Now we just watch Leclerc follow Red Bulls for like 50 laps here. I do love Baku, but like, hey, what's up, OJN? How you doing?
Yeah, I can't believe how fast that ripple is, guys. That's. I mean, I knew it was gonna be quick, but I didn't think. I mean, no, I did. I did expect it to be that quick. So, I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, Stroll saying something. Oh, Lance Stroll said he told Fernando he's not going to attack Fernando. So Aston Martin's playing the ultimate team game here. Simply lovely. Gazzy, no, Gazzy just pitted. He's on hards now. I guess he thinks the hard tires are probably a better race tire. So we'll see what happens there. Predicted Albon podium. I mean, if something happens, maybe. But it's looking unlikely at the moment. Looking very unlikely at the moment. So, we're going to have some Verstappen v. Paris. Yeah, I know Leclerc got overtaken. We know, we know. We know. What's Alonso saying? Beautiful, beautiful. Good job, Aston Martin. Oh, Alonso saying Hamilton's has some graining on his tires. I don't know how he can see that when he's in a Formula 1 car, but... You know what? Go on, Fernando. I don't know if this guy's got the greatest vision in the history of the world, but good for him. Oh, Bottas is in the pits. Okay. Yeah, Stroll won't attack Alonso. You love it. You love it. Epic teammate battle, or teammate working here. So, Perez, guys, is within DRS of Verstappen here. Interesting. And Leclerc's... Okay, so maybe Verstappen's pulling along everybody now. Verstappen and Checo collide. Oh man, that'll be crazy. It'll be absolutely insane. But Paris has to get within DRS range of Verstappen here because, well, not this lap, but just at least like coming up because you don't want Max to pull away here. Especially if Paris gets that DRS, you can just sit within like seven tenths of a second lap after lap while Max actually has to push. They haven't collided yet, but they haven't had a, they haven't battled yet. So we'll see. Going to be a one, two for Red Bull Alonso P3. I mean, I would love a Leclerc podium. I'm going to be honest, guys. Fernando is letting him attack. He's letting, I think he's letting Hamilton attack Sainz, but I don't know if Hamilton can pass Sainz because that, the the Mercedes is a dog in the straight line. Like, Burke, it doesn't even go. Like, it's so bad. I'm from Canada, by the way. I'm not from UK or the USA. Hamilton needs to save tires. Yeah, so does Charles Leclerc. I mean, the only car that doesn't have to worry about, actually, two cars is the Red Bull and then the Green Red Bull, which is the Aston Martin. They're both insane. Um, well, Sainz is two, two seconds behind Leclerc. I don't know if he'll actually battle him, but it's possible. Yeah, I'm from Canada. I'm the biggest Gotifi fan out there. I love Latifi. He's awesome. I wish he went to IndyCar this year so I could watch him in Toronto, but he didn't. So, oh well. I'll see Callum Mylod or something. Do, do, do. By the way, if you guys are new to the stream, hit that like button. Apparently, YouTube algorithm is like, hey, the more people that like the stream, the more they'll recommend the stream. So if you want more people to chat with or whatever, hit that like button. I don't know why it's like that. You think your like watch time or whatever would be more important. But apparently, it's the like button. So it's weird. It's very weird. Oh, Albon's in the just left the pits. Joe's having a pretty solid race right now. Like, he's the worst of the medium tire runners. But then again, a lot of guys also pitted, so... We could see. You're from the UK? Now, I could tell. I could tell by your um, profile. Paris has to win a world championship before he tires. I mean, in a team with Verstappen, he's not winning a world driver's championship, though. Yeah, Paris does have the fastest lap, but I don't know if he had DRS last lap or not, though. Alonso is on top. Yes, Fernando Alonso. I love him. Yeah, I don't think Paris will win either. And today, Perez, I mean, he could win the race. I don't know. I mean, I doubt the championship. Yes, he, he definitely is a number two driver. It's quite obvious there. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I don't know. There's nothing really going on in this race right now. No one's crashing yet. Alpine's on the back foot engine power from Milan. Yeah, they are in the back foot. I don't know if... If it's, like, the two worst, I guess, in terms of engine power sort of seem like, Will, uh, not Williams, Mercedes and the Alpine ones. But they're all not bad. And Paris was within 9 tenths now. So he might get DRS. He's going to get DRS on Verstappen. So this could get interesting, boys and girls. We got Sonoda and Piastri in the pits as well. A few other guys are in the pits too. 
Now, boys, we're going to listen to Max Verstappen is out of this race for a collision with his teammate Paris. Man, how insane would that be? Paris is within six or eight tenths of a second. Oh, Alonso's attacking Hamilton right now, boys. We're, we're on an onboard. We got an onboard here. What's up, Vic? How you doing today? Oh, man. If you could chat Alonso can pass Lewis Hamilton, that'll be epic. How many times has he passed Hamilton this season already? I think ha Hamilton looks like he's got a lot of tire wear already. You can see you you can see graining on his tires. Wow, Fernando's... I don't know how the heck he saw that from like a couple laps ago. Hey, Max, I love Hamilton. See, I hate Hamilton, actually. I'm not a Lewis Hamilton fan, so... I hope he DNFs this race. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Fastest sector one for Sergio Perez here. Granted, he probably had DRS, but still, good for Perez. I think Hamilton's got a lot of tire wear, guys. Because he was right behind Sainz when Sainz was battling with Perez, or when Leclerc was battling with Perez and all that. Now he's dropped off like a couple seconds. All right, well, Alonso make the move here. I mean, both of these cars kind of suck in a straight line, so we'll see what happens, but... Two second cars maybe will be quite balanced or something. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, Hamilton got the box box notification. He's gonna, Hamilton's going in the pits, everybody. Interesting. We got two other guys going in behind him. Looks like it's Norris and Russell. I'm surprised Russell hasn't passed Norris yet, actually. Interesting. No, that wasn't Russell in the pits. Oh, weird. A lot of guys are thinking two stop here. A lot of guys in the pits. Ooh, Hamilton's in a huge traffic jam with the Alpines and the uh, the Alpha Tauris here. That sucks. That is not good for him. You got to put Alonso like in like three or four laps because Hamilton's going to spend a lot of tire life trying to overtake those guys. That sucks. Well, we got yellow flags in sector one, everybody. Oh, nope, nothing there. Nothing happened there. Dang, I thought something was going to happen. Yeah, ha I don't know why they put Hamilton there. That sucks. Oh, what's Max saying? Max says he's sliding here. We got yellow flags in sector one and two, everybody. I see DeVries dropping through the order, so something must have happened. To oh, yeah, yeah, it was Nick DeVries. Why? Why would this bring out the virtual safety car? He's got the car going. Is he in the escape road? Max is being told to box. Paris is staying out. Ooh. Strategy difference. Let's go. Is he out? I don't know if he's out. I have no idea. Like this, The car looked like it was fine. Oh, what a good stop. 2.9 for Verstappen in the pits. If there's a VSC or a full safety car here, this would ruin... Well, not ruin, because Max would probably still win. But it would really ha uh, damper his race. And Oh, safety car! Safety car! Oh my god, that is so bad for Verstappen. That sucks. That sucks for Max. Why would that cause a safety? The debris must have had to. Oh, he's out. Okay, that makes sense. That the breeze must have just parked it there. That sucks, man. That makes sense. I was like, why is this safety car? Like, he's not. He's still fine. But no, I knew he's out of the race. Okay. Oh, he's like really out of the road, and he's not even in an escape road. I thought he was in an escape road. No, that's a that that makes sense for a safety car, as there's literally a car stopped in the middle of the track. Yeah, I don't know why Red Bull would have pit for Stappen there but like you have to pit leclerc now like you better pit leclerc now you don't have to you ha you better pit leclerc now yeah it, it, i thought he like i thought the breeze was going a little bit i'm like oh he can be fine so pair is obviously gonna be coming in Shaw leclerc and signs i don't give a crap you double stack them who cares it's a safety car you have to take your pit stop right now will alonso get up so will Alonso and Stroll get out ahead of Max here too? This could be interesting because Max is probably fuming right now. He's probably swearing words that he's never even said before. Wow. This throws a wrench in it. 
And this basically just gives Paris the win at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Max pitted from the lead, guys. Like, I get that sucks for Lewis as well, but, like, didn't Lewis and Max both benefit, like, drastically from the one in Jetta? So, I mean, what can you do? It happens. Thank God. They said box box for Leclerc. I was waiting for it. Yeah, biggest victor ever, Sergio Perez here. Now he has to only contend with Leclerc, who can't even keep up with him. So, like, that's a big win for Perez. Yeah, Leclerc got his pit stopped. Oh, beautiful double stack, by the way, for Ferrari. That was timed perfectly. We got two wide in the pits here with... Why was there two wide with Alonso or Stroll and someone else? Oh, so Ma Max got into third, really? Not even behind the Aston Martins? <laughs> Dang it. So he's going to be behind Leclerc, that's it. Okay, that's not even that bad. I thought this was going to be de de detrimental to him. Well, that sucks. Ferrari or sure. What did Ferrari do? Like, yeah, I mean, Verstappen was going to get through anyway, so whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we haven't seen the Ferrari on hard tires yet this, in this, this race, so I don't know. Maybe they'll be better. I doubt it, but... Bro, they haven't even got the car out of the way yet? Also, how is that not a safety car, like, instantly with DeVries right there? That's such a dangerous corner. Yeah, Charles, P2, let's go. Good job, Charles. Yeah, now yeah, you should definitely pick up that car. Like, it's just kind of sitting there. Ooh, Hamilton's down to 10th because of that. That sucks. That is so unfortunate. Yeah, that's bad, guys. Hamilton to 10th? Brutal. Alright, let's see how everybody's moved up since the start. Ocon and Hulkenberg up 11. Look at them. Driver of the weekend. They're both in the points, by the way, guys. I, I don't think they boxed yet, though. But No, they haven't pit yet, but still. That's oh, what the heck was that, DeVries? Bro hits the inside corner and destroys the suspension. Bro, that is a... I mean, it, he is a rookie. But that's a real rookie mistake, though. That's something I would do in the F1 game, dude. Like, come on. Wow, that is, that's embarrassing, isn't it? He's like, oh, wow, how did that happen? Like, bro, you hit the wall, dude. Come on. Is George Russell... George Russell just overtook Lance Stroll in the pit. Like, what? Is that even... Is that allowed? Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, Shell Leclerc had a great stop, by the way. You think that might be a penalty? I don't know. I don't know the ruling on that, so we'll see. Yeah, Ver Verstappen's still going to win the race, so. But now Verstappen will have to make an overtake on Paris, which could get dicey considering, you know, I don't know how close they are anymore, so we'll see. Some good water. Is the car off the track yet? I want to get racing again. Ah, good. They have it. Yeah, Alcon has and stuff. They're the only ones. Hmm. Gasly's done seven laps on these old hard tires and he's still in 16th. That car. Oh my god. What type of race is he doing? He's. Oh, that's a bad race so far. Yeah, I think Hamilton might Hamilton might have been the biggest loser. Oh, safety car ending, everybody. Safety car ending. Here we go. Here we go.
Yay, safety car ending. How funny would it be if Leclerc passes on um, Paris because he fumbles the restart? That would be hilarious. It's 24.8 degrees in back here right now. <sighs> yeah, that's Celsius. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, when is Perez gonna jump? Probably gonna do what everybody's been doing in the F2 and like the the sprint race so far. They're going left, right, left, right, and then they go right, and then they go left, and then they go. It's weird. Alright, Sergio, when are you going? Schalker's right on his gear gearbox here. There he goes. There goes Perez. Pretty good start for everybody. Oh, is Leclerc going to send it? Oh, Leclerc's sending it around the outside. Oh! Oh, how did nobody crash? Oh my god, that was so close for everybody. Uh-oh. Max is going to overtake Leclerc here. <laughs> Leclerc did not have a good exit. There goes Max. Uh-oh. Yep, Max makes the move stick here. Good move there, Max. Well, good job, Ferrari. <laughs> oh, Alonso's sending it around signs. Oh, what a move by Fernando. <laughs> Alonso P4. Oh my, I love Fernando Alonso. Signs, bro, what are you doing? Like, bro. Fernando, you're so good. Yeah, Max got the move done. I mean, he was going to get it done anyway. This is kind of... Just he did it a little earlier than I thought. Yeah, Hamilton got up a few spots there. He passed Ocon and Hulkenberg. That was crazy. Everybody was on cold tires, so a few people went real wide in turn one. Yeah, Red Bulls are gone. It's <laughs> Paris is gone actually. He's at, without. He's out of DRS range of Verstappen, which is good for him. That's good. Yeah, well, no, honestly, it was a fun 14 laps. Um, and then a good, like, three corners here as well. Oh, well, Sainz will probably overtake Alonso because I think the Ferrari is a little bit quicker, but we'll see there. Oh, is Sainz going to get... Is Sainz going to get a move here? No, he's not. He's not. Ooh... Good move, Lewis on George. Yeah, Russell can't get his tires cooking. Good move there for Hamilton. I like to be my own driver, because that's way more fun than owning a team. Interesting, man. Yeah, Hamilton's gained three spots already. Good for him. So is Max going to catch pairs or like what's going on here? Oh, Paris just got a um, pit lane noted for an unsafe release, everybody. Paris just got an unsafe release. This could be bad for Checo. Yeah, how did a lot? What a move. That was beautiful by Fernando. Go on, Fernando. Yeah, I guess the only car the Mercedes could overtake in a straight line is itself. <laughs> nice one, George. At least he admitted it. Yeah, Perez unsafe release. I don't know if he'll get a penalty for it, but we'll see. Hmm. What's the penalty for unsafe release? Is it five seconds? Might be. I think it's five seconds.
So Verstappen isn't catching Perez, so we'll see what happens here. Ah, no unsafe release. Dang it. Good effort. It was a good try. This is this is way more interesting with Verstappen hunting down Perez. Oh oh, I thought I just saw a crash, but no, I'm just I'm just seeing things. I think it was just the debris on the track. Now we need Charles Leclerc on the podium. Alonso already has enough. We need Alonso third. Well, let's just take um let's take like Verstappen and Perez up, put Leclerc P two, and then we'll put Alonso P three. I think that that works. Hamilton's flying on these hard tires, by the way. You know, we never really get to see Alonso battle, like, Charles Leclerc. He battles Hamilton a lot, but he never battles Leclerc. Like, you don't see that. Did he hit the wall? Okay, I thought I... I swear I saw something. Yeah, that's what I saw. I, I knew I saw something. I'm like, I swear I saw a crash. Yo, that's what DeBreeze did. Yeah, DeBreeze's hit was way worse. Did he break his whole front wing, though? I think that's what we saw, actually. Yeah, that Aston Martin is a brick. Holy cow. Like, but a good brick. Hamilton last year? Yeah, it was. Oh, Max is pushing, boys. Max is pushing. Bro, Science, can you catch up to Alonzo and put pressure on him? Like, dude, come on. Yeah, tough race for K-Mag. Tough race for K-Mag. 17th, yikes. Hulkenberg's in P10, though. Pit entry involving Russell. No further investigation. Ah, uh, okay. No penalty for George. So, like, after Stroll clobbered the wall, he's now within DRS range of signs here. So, like, I don't know what the heck's going on with Carlos. Yeah, I didn't... I swear he clobbered his whole front wing. I don't know how he's fine. Especially in Baku. I, well, I wonder why Leclerc's dropping away. It's almost like the Red Bulls are in front of him. But I want the Red Bulls to battle so Charles Leclerc can catch up. Lawrence Schultz buys NASCAR. That'd be epic. I'd like to see that. Is Hamilton driving well? He's up to 7th. He got unlucky with the safety car, though. So that dropped him to 10th. But he's, he's made some good moves. Whoa, good move by Kevin. And he lost it. Never mind. <laughs> it was a good it was a good move until it wasn't. Well. He was like full drift. That was epic. <laughs> Max is still flying. Purple mini sector. Purple sector one. I'm a Charles Leclerc fan. So, P3 is epic. I love it. Pole was awesome yesterday and the day before, so that was pretty cool. I didn't expect much in the races, though. Your Bottas is it? How did Bottas end up in dead last? Like, I, don't, I wasn't even watching. I agree. Hulkenberg should have been on the podium. That's just how it should have been. Well, Alonzo's telling a Lance Stroll setup tips? Holy cow, this is the best teammate relationship ever. Yeah, big bro Alonzo. <laughs> 
Max just had the fastest lap here. Stream ended, so came here instead. Awesome. Awesome. What's up, Rhea? How you doing? Both has waiting for the fog to come. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, well, not yet, apparently. But, I mean, don't please don't speak it into existence, ORT. Can you speak a Red Bull DNF into existence? That would be awesome. Bro, they're so fast. Like, Verstappen's six seconds ahead of Leclerc. Like, what the heck? Oh, we're on board with Akon now. What do you do? Ooh, almost at the wall there. That was close. Oh, he kissed it. That was very close. Hmm. We need some... We need some battles here. Like, Red Bull... Like, Verstappen, can you catch up to Paris, please? Like, I want to see some action. And I know you don't want to lose this race to... To, to you know, to Paris. Oh, yeah, Stroll went real wide. Oh, no, Lance, don't bottle it. Well, that'll be an easy Hamilton overtake. Yeah, that was, that was pretty easy. Bro, that Mercedes is so slow in a straight line. Holy cow. That was quite aggressive from Lewis. I don't think he had to do that. Well, Hamilton's up to six now. No, the drag is real. That's crazy. Yeah, that was a really easy move for Hamilton. He didn't have to do anything, so. Oh, well. Oh, and Lance Stroll lost the, the lap time for that, apparently. <laughs> that uh, insult injury, apparently. How did Stroll even do that? Yeah, must have hit the power too early. Oh, it's so weird. You don't see that that much anymore. Oh, Parazol just slid out of that corner there. That was crazy. That was a good shot. Is Max finally going to put a run in? That'd be awesome. Come on, Max. Yeah, tough race again for McLaren, but they got unlucky because they both pitted uh, when the safety car came out. That sucks for them. What's Russell doing? Russell's behind Stroll now. He's got the DRS, but I don't think he's going to do anything with it. At least in this lap. Maybe maybe uh, next lap he might be able to get closer. Max loses so much time in the first couple sectors though. It's so weird. Did Paris... I know Paris... I thought Paris put a purple sector. Max is putting in a purple sector 1 right now apparently. So good for Max. Leclerc's eight seconds behind Verstappen here. That's not good. That's that is unfortunate. They're showing Perez here. He had a big slide into one of these corners. That was crazy. Almost hit the wall. That could have destroyed his rear suspension. That is the tire whisperer, Sergio Perez, right there. So Perez and Verstappen are doing pretty much equal times. Verstappen and Leclerc are not even close. Leclerc is pulling away from Alonso, and then Alonso and Sainz are pretty close. 
So, I don't know. Maybe Ferrari 3-4. We could see, but uh, it's, it'll be tough. All right, Max is getting closer and closer to Paris here, though. Especially with the slipstream. Yeah, Russell doesn't look like he's really going to get or contend with Stroll here. Not even close. Oh, science is saying something. Tires are stable. Happy with these tires. Happy to push more. Oh my god. We don't say this about our tires ever. Whoa. Alright, push, Fernand. Uh, come on, science. Push, please. That is probably what Leclerc is doing. Just managing his tires. But, yeah, he's falling back so far. I think Science should put some pressure on Alonso though. Whoa, that's a cool camera. Through the castle, that's awesome. Leclerc has been much better than Science this weekend, but pretty much the whole season as well. I want Verstappen to get within DRS range. I want to see some wars going on between them. Come on, Max. Max is getting close to within DRS range here. He doesn't have it, but he's very close. Hamilton saying he's got some dig on the hard tire. That's not good. That could be bad for Lewis. Because I think he's the only one reporting that. So that sucks. I can't believe Ocon and Hulkenberg are still hanging in 9th and 10th with their like 11 lap older tires than everybody else. Oh, Hulkenberg and Ocon are battling. Oh my, look at this. Finally a battle. That'll bring Norris into the fight. Good job, Haas. Pretty solid weekend for them so far. <laughs> Gunther Steiner, yeah! The man of the hour. I love Gunther. Russell. What's George Russell saying? Ooh, plan B for George Russell, everybody. Plan B. Struggling with the rear. I don't think he's going to make it to the end. Oh, he's talking about Stroll. Russell probably going to the end then. Hmm. Oh, Russell might make a move on Lance Stroll here, everybody. Goes down the inside. Nope, not close enough. Not close enough. What the heck? Simeon? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. That's weird. Do, 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 do. Mercedes is looking pretty good. I was like, what's this guy talking about? It's a little strange here. Yeah, I got. Oh, he did he? He must have pitted then. 
Did he go in the butt? He pit? Yeah, he pit. He's on new tires. I'm pretty good. How are you? Would be better if Charlotte Claire was in the lead, but I mean, I'll take a P3 after how this season's gone. Oh, Hamilton's going to overtake Sainz soon. What the heck? Where did that come from? Sainz, bro, like, don't fumble the bag here, dude. I don't know. I didn't realize that Sainz was, like, even close to Hamilton. So, um, that's not good. Does Mercedes have the straight line speed for it, though? Like, I have no idea. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Beast, 2025. I bought a Formula 1 team. Yeah, it costs like a billion dollars. Wouldn't be surprised if you can do that. When is Max gonna attack Perez, dude? Like, stop, be stop like, not battling. Come on, I want to watch a good fight for the lead. My eyes are so watery. Dang allergies, man. No, I don't think Mercedes has the DRS speed to do it. Like, they can get as close as they want, but they're not fast enough in a straight line. Yeah, I just want to see a fight, though. Like, it's just been 1.5 seconds for, like, 20 laps. So boring. <laughs> Come on, Max. Verstappen gonna win ahead of Paris, maybe by two seconds. He'll eventually get ahead of Paris for sure. It's just a matter of when, but we don't know when. That's the real question. No, I don't think Leclerc will go to Mercedes. There's no room for him there. I think he'll stay with Ferrari. I don't, like. There's no reason why Leclerc would want to join George Russell's team. Plus, like, look at now. Mercedes sucks. Like, why would you want to go there? Yeah, no, they're not going to win. You, you don't know. It's not a proven thing anymore that Mercedes can do it in this regulation. Yeah, this race is actually, Graham. This is brutal. Like, for Baku, you think it would, like, Baku usually always throws up a banger. Have you heard about Romania? You mean, like, the country? Yeah, I've heard of the country. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Max is even trying at all or he's just conserving. But yeah, Paris is doing pretty solid. Happened to Gasly. He's boxed twice. I think the only guy to box twice. So that's why. Akon, like, hasn't even pit yet. Neither has um, Hulkenberg. I think Gazin's pitted twice. I don't know what the strategy for Alpine is today. It's kind of weird. I think Fernando's going to get a podium. Yeah, it's possible. Definitely possible. So, Hulkenberg and Akon are, like, adrift now from George Russell in eighth. Like, they're eight seconds back, and they're holding up the rest of the grid. So, that sucks for everybody else. Let's hope for a Verstappen and a Paris DNF. That would be epic. Like, the greatest thing ever. Uh, he had an amazing season so far with that smart. He has, yeah, definitely. No, I, honestly, like, one of the worst DRS trains. It's either, like, I don't know, the Alpine's good in a straight line, or every other car just sucks, and they can't pass. Need, like, a, we need, like, a Red Bull in there to break it up. Like, when was the last time we had a dead DRS train in Baku out of all the tracks? They, this thing's literally got, like, the longest train in Formula 1. I need a coffee.
Yeah, I yeah, know. They need a longer straight. Yeah, Hulk's been good, but he hasn't pit yet. So if he pits, he'll drop like 18, 19, 20 seconds back. Oh, Nico Hulkenberg hit the wall. There's not even been like any lap times leaded or anything. Like, that's crazy. The last time anything on the timing boards would come up was when Lance Stroll went wide and then he got overtaken by Lewis. That was like 10 laps ago. Mercedes 2014 Mercedes were winning every race from Canada Hungry Builds up. Yeah, that's but that car was like the most dominant thing just because of the engine. It was insane. I think Perez for Staff and Alonso might win Alonso with a low chance. I don't think Alonso's got a shot to win, but it'd be cool if he does. Perez for Staff have the highest chance. Oh, 100 percent Like they're they're in a Red Bull, dude. Like quite obvious. Yeah, I don't really need mods right now. I have quite a few. They're just not chatting right now. Kind of just watch the race and go from there. So I don't really need mods right now. Yeah, Rebel Car is a beast. Like, you're not beating it. I, I, like, I don't know what Ferrari's going to bring for Imola in the next couple races. But apparently, we only brought like one upgrade this week. And apparently, it just worked. So I'm happy about that. Signs is saying something. Plan A for Carlos Sainz, so that's awesome. I wish Verstappen was in the wall. Oh god, somehow making a gap. Yeah, I don't know how that came out of nowhere. I don't know. Oh, well, Hulkenberg said he hit the wall a little bit, but I don't think it would cause that much time. I support Ferrari, so I've been I've been quite sad for the last couple decades. So yeah. I'm a Ferrari and Charles Leclerc fan. It's fun. Saturdays are my favorite day because we get pole a lot, but we don't win. So, not a fan of Sundays. Yeah, I think Leclerc's just saving tires maybe to go to the end. But Verstappen's dropped a lot of time from Perez now. He's 2.2 behind. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, Leclerc personal best. You love to see it. Sides just dropped six seconds behind. Like, bro, what are you doing? Like, come on, man. Pick it up. I do have a Discord. It's pinned in the comment section. Or not pinned. It's pinned in the chat. Like, you'll be able to see it. Yeah, but, like, we're, I didn't expect Leclerc to actually win this race. Like, I didn't expect him to get pulled. So that was a surprise. So, like, third's the best we could have gone for. So, to me, that's basically a race win. Because we're not. you're not beating Red Bull this weekend. Yeah, it's an easy chance for an Alonso podium, but like, man, I hope Leclerc gets one. He deserves one. P10, right now it's Hulkenberg, but it'll probably be like Norris or something. Man, this is boring. This season's been so boring so far. I can't believe this. Yeah, Leclerc's season, like, it was good in Baku until the DNF. And then he had good pace in Saudi Arabia. He qualified P2, but then he had to start 10 positions down. So, like, whatever. And then Australia, he DNF. So, like, it's been, it's I'd say it's been slightly above average, but with, like, the worst luck possible. 
Max is complaining a lot on the on the on the radio. Max made a mistake last lap apparently. Did he hit the wall? He was close to the wall, he didn't hit it though. Yeah, he didn't hit it. The thing is, it's a boring race because there's no battle for the lead. Like, like yeah, you can battle if I'm like P10, but it's for one point. But then again, they're also in a DRS train, so it's not even like they're battling anyway. Like, when was the last time Baku had a boring race? Well, besides last year when Ferrari's DNF'd. But, like, before that, Baku's usually done a bangers every time. Yeah, Paris fastest lap. Wow. So far, it's been the worst race. Alonso's catching Leclerc now, though. No, honestly, it's great for Paris. Like, if you could hold up Max here, that's really impressive. Though it is a street race, so once we go to a normal track, Paris will be screwed. Bro, Alonso's flying. I could use a safety car right now. That'll be interesting. Slap on a set of hards, go to the end. That'll be awesome. Yeah, Russell is back within DRS and Lance Stroll here, but he probably won't even overtake him. We'll have to see how fast Aston Martin is in a straight line. Because the Ferrari, I think, is like the second or third best car in a straight line. Well, obviously, Red Bull's like 10,000 kilometers ahead. But then Ferrari's next, so I don't know what Aston Martin can do in a straight line. We gotta give Debris more time. Definitely gotta give him more time, but it's not looking good for him. McLaren probably will get points. Like, I think Norris will overtake Hulkenberg and maybe Alcon, especially because they still have to pit. So, that'll put Norris in ninth. Then we'll see Piastri, see what he can do. But who knows? Ah, stretching. So Max just got fastest lap again. Yeah, Hamilton usually benefits from a safety car though, so he can't really, like one bad safety car for him, which is whatever. Yeah, but Piastri being new doesn't mean he won't have a good race, so. Oh, what's Leclerc saying? Hmm. Tire life went hard just as expected. Nice, you'd love to see it. So probably bad for Ferrari. It's Connor and Niall. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Bro, the dang it, Science. Science is nine seconds behind this battle. He's losing like half a second a lap to Leclerc and Alonso. Perez is setting PBs here. Interesting. Yeah, Alfa Romeo's been bad. I'm shocked that Williams is this bad, considering they're like a rocket ship in a straight line. Perez fastest lap. Oh, that was close to the wall for Verstappen.
What's up, Allie? How are you doing? Max hit the wall, actually. Very slightly. Gave it a little slap. I'm good, thanks. Um, Leclerc's P3 at the moment, so that's awesome. Who are these two guys battling? Is this Yo? No, it's Bottas and Gasly batting, battling for last. Epic. What a good fight, you know? Ooh, good move for Gasly there. Love it. Good move for Gasly. Now Bottas is last of the runners. Yeah, the Alpha Male is a bad... It's a bad car, isn't it? So much promise. Yeah, I don't know if Albon will get points here today, though. It's not looking good. So Alonso's dropped off of Leclerc again. I don't know what happened there. Well, Leclerc just put some purple mini sectors in, so I don't know if he's pushing, but good for him. Probably going to be Max. I feel like Max will win this race. Though the title would be interesting if it was Paris, like the title fight. Hey, see you, Simon. How, how, hope you have a good day, bud. Yeah, Paris is very possible. Paris is very possible. But there's still like 20 laps left, so we'll see. Yeah, at least Norris will be up to P9 after they all pit. Alonso's dropping away now from Charles. So, yay. Good job, Charles. How's his laps? Leclerc's lapping... He's lapping like four tenths slower than the Red Bulls now. So, that's pretty good. You think George will win a World Drivers Championship? That depends if he's got a good car. That's literally all it all it depends on. Oh, Paris hit the wall. Wow, Paris li literally hit the wall on turn 15 there. He's pushing so hard. Hmm. I don't think George would go to Ferrari. There's no reason for him to. Hmm. I just want to see a battle between Max and Perez, man. I've been waiting for this all race. Oh, what's sign saying? We are happy with tire life. Nice. You're a Max fan? Nice, nice. Paris is flying, man. He's going so quick, which is... Nice. Like, I'd be okay if Paris wins this, because then the title would be way closer. Like, the title fight. No, there's no way Sainz will pit. He's just going to go to the end here, maybe secure the P5, but he'll have to defend Lewis at the end. Unless we get, like, a safety car. Because Baku does throw safety cars down to the race, because they are, you know, they love doing that. Fastest lap for Paris.
Who do you think might crash out for me? For this race? I have no idea. Everybody's just sort of conserving now, so it's not like they're pushing hard. Maybe Perez, honestly, because he's pushing real hard to keep Verstappen behind. Ooh, Hamilton and Sainz battle's really close. But Verstappen's losing more and more time to Perez. He's about three seconds back now, so... Perez might have this in the bag, guys. Hmm. Good for Perez. Honestly, good for him. We're gonna have to be careful yeah i know he might do an i am stupid moment but oh well it happens come on science don't lose to hamilton here alonzo's dropped off drastically from leclerc though I don't know. Was, is Bottas even a good driver, man? Like, he's been losing his show constantly. Hamilton's not even close to Science and DRS. Kevin Magnussen almost made a move. Almost. That was like the would have been the first overtake we had in like 20 laps. Yeah, well, Baltas never really battled Hamilton. Like he did for like two races, and then and then he just stopped. So, oh, Joe's out of the race. What's up, Scotty boy? How are you? I'm I'm good, thanks. I'm good. This has been probably the worst race of the year, which sucks because I love Baku, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, I know he's out and he's done. You're a little behind there, RT. Hamilton's not going to pass him, is he? Not even close. Nice, nice. <laughs> That's funny. Still nothing going on. Wow, this is awesome. Yeah, I don't know how Hulkenberg and Alcon are still going. They still have to pit, man. They're they're really hoping for a safety car. They're praying for one. But their pace is not even that bad either. Yeah, I don't think Lewis will get eight. I don't think so. Oh, hold on. Looks like there's some action in the Mercedes garage. Russell could pit if he puts two more seconds on the field or on the uh, on Akon. Then he'll um he'll get a big gap. He'll be able to pit. I don't know if I can do that. I think it might be copyright if I put the live map up. He could do an undercut. Yeah, he could, but. And I'm gonna only work if, if Stroll pits as well. I call it soccer because I am from North America.
Oh. Uh, definitely football. Soccer, I hate. It's such a boring sport, if you ask me. It's so boring. Like, I'm going to piss off every, like, world sports fan. I don't watch soccer at all. It's boring to me. F1 games and stats uses live maps and they'll get taken on. Oh, they can actually use it. Oh, I didn't know you can actually use it. I don't even know if I can. I don't want to pull. I'll pull up for the next race. It's been years since I watched an actual soccer game. Like, sat down and chose. Actually, no, I don't think I've ever chose to watch one in my life. I have not watched rugby. I don't even think Canada does rugby, so like, it's never on TV. If Gasly overtakes Logan, he's basically last. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget about Bottas though. What a performance. <laughs> Poor Williams, they tried. Anyway, anyone else shocked that Verstappen wasn't able to catch uh, Paris? Do you do races like this? Like what? Like, I, do I race? No. <laughs> That is expensive as heck. You do streams like this. I mean, I'm doing one right now, so I guess, yeah. I don't know what you mean, though. Yeah, I try to. I try to. Like, I didn't do one in Australia because it was at 1 in the morning. And then... Next week in Miami, I'm probably not going to do one because, you know, I, I won't be home. So, um, well, maybe all the other ones, though. Bro, honestly, Sam, like, one of the most boring races. Like, like, how can you have... Hey, can you at least try no, like, I won't be in the country. Like, I, it's like one of those won't be homes. So, I won't have my, like, setup to do it. So, yeah. Yeah, but, like, I don't know how the race is, like, the longest straightaway in F1. Where you don't even need, like, like a, a setup for, like, low downforce or whatever. Can't even throw up a banger. Like, how is it even possible? Like, Baku always throws up a banger. And now my camera's blurry. Why? Hello. Come on. There we go. Ooh, Max has had a great first sector. Holy cow. Ooh, Hamilton over almost overtook signs here. Marge's been disqualified. I didn't watch F2. How'd it go? It says on the top, there is 11 left if you're watching the, the stream. Well, Max is flying right now, by the way. He's like, got oh, 10 laps to go. Oh, really? Technical infringement. ART has been really quick in some random sessions this year. So I wouldn't be surprised if they found something in quotation marks. Because like, remember in um, Saudi Arabia and then in Bar Bahrain, they were like seven tenths ahead in qualifying. Like, that was crazy. Double win for Behrman today, though. That was awesome. I like Ollie Behrman. He's so good. It's so funny not watching, like, ha watching Hamilton not win races. Like, it's, it's mu music to my eyes, man. It's beautiful.
How do you do F1 live streams? By live streaming. Um, I don't know. It's very, like, you just hit the live button and then you go live. Yeah, honestly, this might be worse than Mexico. And both tracks have, like, very long straights for overtaking, which is so weird. You're right, Ocon and Hulkenberg still haven't pitted. Yeah, the Mercedes just cannot overtake a car. It's so funny. I think Max is trying to put a run in on Paris, but I don't know. What's it used for the results? It's called multi-viewer. You'll probably you probably heard it around on Twitter and stuff like that. Bro, Max is pushing it to the limit right now. And still, the last, like, infringement was Lance Stroll going wide, like, 30 laps ago. Man, what a race. So much and nothing has happened. Yeah, Mercedes is, uh, Russell's the only, like, one successor for, um, for Hamilton. Well, uh, nah, this is this is thrilling. So, Scotty, join the multiviewer Discord. Just find him on Twitter. You'll be able to look it up. And then they have like literally step by step walkthroughs on how to get the timing screens on the side. Well, Max was in the lead, and then the safety car screwed him over, but I did not expect him to not catch Perez, though. That, that's a big shock. Like, that was crazy. What's up, Adam? How you doing? Welcome to the race stream where nothing has happened, honestly. Like, it's been so boring. I also... Also, how do I do live streams that 1k sub doesn't let me? So, you don't need subscribers to live stream. You just need to, I think, put in like a 24 to 48 hour notice before your first live stream so everything's all prepared. So, like, just submit it and that's it. But what Lewis asks, have you got more power? Dude, like, no, you don't because that's how the engines work. Like, where have you been? Getting ready for church. Nice, nice. Oh, wait. Norris lost a spot to Hulkenberg? What? It looked like he just dropped in the order. I don't know what happened there. But, okay. Yeah, no, you don't need 1k subs to stream on YouTube. That's not a thing. I can, I can assure you on that. So, I don't know why it's saying that for you. I do not go to church. No, that is not for me. Race summary of Azerbaijan. Thank you for reading. Okay, so there was a start, and then Red Bull passed Leclerc, and then Nick DeVries hit the wall, safety car. Verstappen pitted before the safety car, so he lost a couple spots, but now he's back up to P2. And now Perez and Verstappen have been battling for like 30 laps within like a two-second gap. 
and then that's it. Yeah, you're not you don't stream on mobile. You're supposed to do it from your computer. You can't stream from well, you could stream from mobile. I don't know how that really works. Never done it, but like you're supposed to stream from your computer. You need like a stream key. You gotta have like encoding software and all that type of stuff. But that just comes with like OBS or Streamlabs or whatever you use. But the race a bit of boring as heck. Like honestly, you just you haven't missed much. Oh, he did get fastest lap. Go on, Charles. Way to point that one out. I love to see that. Fastest driver, guys. That's it. Fastest driver on the track. But also, because well, Alonso's catching him, so it looked clear to pick up the pace. We can celebrate fastest lap until Perez or Verstappen take it in the last lap. Yeah, 60 points for 16. That's how it is, boys. How it is. <laughs> Bro, there's been like five overtakes this race. Like five meaningful ones. Oh, Norris just overtook Hulkenberg. Speaking of meaningful overtakes, there's one of them. Took him like 40 laps in the making. Holy cow. Uh, set, wait, which one? Miami's next, right? Um, the Imola race, probably, I'll probably be streaming. Just not for Miami, because I won't be here. Yeah, what did... Oh. Did Hulkenberg just, like, let him go? That was weird. What did Hulkenberg... What happened? Oh, he destroyed the Apex. No, he just made a big mistake. That happens. Wow, that... It was... This race is so boring, you started paying attention to the shade of orange on the McLaren livery. That is boring. That is boring. Ooh, Sonoda almost took all over to Kalkenberg. Okay, so Mercedes is getting some tires ready. You make me feel happy. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. But I don't, I don't know. I'm just kind of talking here. I'm really tired because like, you know watching hockey last night then we got home late i slept for like five hours woke up for this at like six in the morning so it happens five laps to go everybody and still nothing going on definitely got to give your props to hulkenberg and akon for performing this while on really old tires but they got a pit man they got a pit. They're going to slap on a set of socks, though. But Let's see. What will happen here? Who are we voting for driver of the day, by the way? F1.com-vote. Let's see. Who's driver of the day? Who are we thinking, guys? Who's been up the most? Honestly, like nobody. Uh. Hulkenberg saying something. Uh, yeah, I guess I could do Paris. I'll do Paris today. I could do Charles, but like, I mean, he's been really good considering he's in the Ferrari, but still. We'll go with Perez because he's held up Max all day today. Sonoda, fastest sector three. Good for him.
Yeah, DeVries has really struggled in 4 by one Yeah, I know Hulkenberg got overtaken, but he's still been pretty good, so. They need a safety car, man, but I don't think they're going to get one. Like, what are the odds? We got one safety car in back here today. What are the odds of that? They got to pit him real soon, man. Can you give me a shout out? I would appreciate it. I don't know what I'd be shouting out though. So like your channel, do you have a channel? I'm not sure, but shout out to Scotty boy. Uh, rip this race. I went out, cut grass because I was bored. Oh, you literally cut the grass because that's how bored you were. Charles not doing good this race. See, the thing is, I don't know if you understand this, but the Red Bull is like one of the greatest race cars in the history of Formula One. So going from P1 to P3 was inevitable. So Leclerc basically won this race if you take out the Red Bull. So it's not a bad race for him. Charles not amazing. I, I don't, I completely disagree. Considering the fact that Carlos Sainz is 19 seconds behind Fernando Alonso and Leclerc is defending Alonso and putting time in between the two, I think Leclerc is doing well. So I think you're wrong on that one. Aw, Max took Charles' fastest lap. Dang it. Honestly, it'd be a huge... Alonso fastest lap. Okay, go on, Fernando. Yeah, actually, they're... Like, I'm listening to the broadcast. They're saying Aston Martin and Ferrari... They're, the last couple laps, they've been lapping the same as Red Bull. So, maybe by the end of this race, like, we, they have equal pace. Just during the middle, they don't. Whoa, yellow flag and so oh no, never mind. There was a yellow flag for like three seconds, guys. Why would they do that? Why why would they even tease us like that? How could they do this to us? They gotta pit Hulkenberg now though. He's dropping like a rock. <laughs> the answer is Red Bull, yes. So what are we rating this race? Oh, it was George who went wide, that's why. Nice one, George. Way to bottle it. Um, so, like, from a scale of 1 to 10, like, this race has to be, like, a negative 2, right? Like, this has been, this has been terrible. Oh, Max fastest lap. I don't think, oh, well, Hockenberg doesn't have a problem, he just doesn't have tires. Alonso fastest lap again. Beautiful. Russell's coming in. Hold up. How funny would it be if they just have a terrible pit stop and then Lando Norris passes him? Little, but honestly, a little slow stop here, but Russell will probably be quick. No, honestly, this race doesn't even deserve a score. It's literally been the biggest parade I've ever seen. Alright, Hulkenberg's gotta come in, man. Like Nico and Alcon, you're gonna get disqualified if you don't pay it. Hulkenberg's in, okay. There we go.
Bro, it's the last lap. Why are they telling with her that the wind is getting bad? And Hulkenberg had a terrible stop. All right, boys, last lap of this race. Oh, I just woke up. Ugh, that was thrilling. Absolutely thrilling. But this does throw a wrench in the championship fight now. So that's better for Perez. So happy for him. Unless he bottles in, crashed in the last lap. That would be hilarious, by the way. But See, I don't know if there was much pressure for Max today. He was never within DRS range. So it's not like Perez had to defend it all. Like, yeah, you had to put up good pace, but, like, it is 8.36 in the morning in Canada right now. Yeah, like, max points weekend for Paris if he gets fastest lap today. He could, if the whole calendar was three races, Paris would take the fight to Verstappen. Oh my god. Why are there photographers in the pit lane? That was unbelievable. Why would the photographers be in the middle of the pit lane when Ocon comes into pit? Take a bow, Perez. What a performance. Another Red Bull 1 2. Wow, thrilling. But boys and girls, get the. Ferrari stuff out of here because Charles Leclerc is going to finish on the podium for the first time in 2023. Let's go. Have you seen my little Charles Leclerc thing up here? We got this. Best race of the year for Ferrari. P3 and P5. That is pathetic to say. On the podium. First podium of the year, boys and girls. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. We're, we're, we're hyped. We're hyped. Yuki Sonoda P10. Yes. Love Yuki. Oh, I'm happy. We got a podium finally. We didn't ruin it. Yes, yeah, signs P5. Alpine didn't. Ooh, Alpine didn't score. That's so bad. But who honestly, though, like that strategy with Alcon and Halkenberg, who would have thought there wouldn't have been a. um? Who would have thought there wouldn't have been like another safety car, though? Like, let's be honest. So we got Perez P1, Verstappen P2, Leclerc P3, let's go. Alonso P4, Sainz 5, Hamilton 6, Stroll 7. George Russell had a bad race in 8th. That's kind of embarrassing. Lando Norris P9. Did George Russell get fastest lap? Did he get it? Oh, Russell definitely set the fastest lap, yeah. Russell PA with fastest lap. George, or Lando Norris P9 and Yuki Tsunoda P10. Wow. Good job, Checo. Good job for Checo. I mean, b most boring race I've ever watched in my life, probably, but it was good. It was good. All right, now's a good time to end the stream, guys. So if you guys want to join the Discord so you get notifications on my new videos or whatever, uh, hit that like button and subscribe, share with friends, join the Discord, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Good, uh, whenever. I think it's going to be Imola or whatever, whatever's after.